astrophysics is an observational science. We need to build instruments in order to be able to answer the questions triggered by previous science results. This is really the strength of CEA because we have here a combination of collaborators doing uh, physical models and building instruments so that we can describe uh, the physical properties of these faraway objects. CEA is a French Atomic Energy Commission. We have been doing uh, astrophysics for more than 50 years at CEA based on specific competencies like high energy detectors in X-rays, gamma rays, cosmic rays. The Astrophysics Department is a joint research unit between CNRS, Paris Diderot University and CEA, called AIM. That stands for Astrophysics, Instrumentation and Modelization, which is in fact the three pillars of our strategy. Breaking barriers is really the key point to make the best science. The strength here of the Astrophysics Department is that we are working very closely between observers, specialists of numerical simulations, but also instrumentalists preparing the future space mission. So we have all the range of expertise from preparing space mission, making the observations, and interpreting the observations through numerical simulations. Together with the French Space Agency, we are working closely on space mission from the European Space Agencies, like Stellar Orbiter for the Sun, like Ariel on exoplanet, like Alcena in the X-ray domain, and Euclid in cosmology. The Euclid mission was proposed initially by a CEA scientist in 2007, and CEA will be involved until publication of the final results six years after launch. Euclid is a cosmology mission of the European Space Agency that is dedicated to the characterization of dark energy and dark matter. The Euclid spacecraft carries a 1.2 meter telescope that is feeding two instruments. For the visible imager, we are in charge of building the huge focal plane constituted of 36 CCDs counting more than 600 million pixels. For the infrared spectrometer, the NISP, we have designed, manufactured and tested the cryogenic motors that will rotate the optical elements and the filter inside the instrument. We have specific facilities that are dedicated to characterizing the prototype detectors. We have also specific clean rooms where we assemble and test our instruments. And in this calibration room, we can test our fully assembled instruments in the condition they will see in space. There is a, a very tight interaction between space missions and numerical simulations. Numerical simulations can predict what astrophysical objects will look like to make the correct design for space missions before sending them into space. Numerical simulations are crucial also to interpret the observations that are performed by space missions. Euclid will provide information on the very large scales of the universe just after its formation. Basically, it's content in dark matter and dark energy. And we will use those initial conditions to start our simulations. To perform those numerical simulations, we are using supercomputers all across Europe. What's really exciting with the, the capabilities of new supercomputers is really this capability to perform multi-scale simulations. We can model entire galaxies with their dark matter and dark energy environment, and at the same scale we are able to follow the formation, the evolution, the explosion of individual stars one by one. I work on the formation and the evolution of structure in the universe using galaxy clusters. The evolution of the cluster population traces the evolution of structure formation in the universe and this we can tie back to the underlying cosmology within this which this process takes place. X-rays are very efficient at discovering clusters because the X-ray emission is peaked and it's high contrast. In addition to continued exploitation of XMM and Chandra, I'm also involved in defining the instruments for Athena, the European Space Agency's next generation X-ray satellite. Being there at the definition phase, it allows me to look at what I would like to measure and what the ideal instrument to do these measurements would be. At CEA, I'm studying the really early stages of the formation of stars and planets, trying to understand exactly uh, which balance of physical ingredients allow to form stars like the ones we, we observe in our galaxy. 
I try to observe these uh, embryos of stars to try to understand how magnetic field affects the outcome of the star formation process. My research has been funded by the European Research Council. I've been involved in several instruments that allow to observe the, the polarized emission of light. I've been involved in commissioning the ALMA interferometer. We are also here in CEA deeply involved in the NICA and the SPICA missions. I hope that in 10 years we will be able to make a full model of both the formation of stars and planets thanks to the new observations uh, that we are acquiring right now. The Astrophysics Department is involved in a number of missions up to 2031 and we are preparing already the, the future. I've rarely seen such a, a dynamic environment and I really believe you can blossom as a young scientist because you have so many paths to explore here. We really would like to encourage people to come in and participate to this very great adventure which is astrophysics.